is to uh, have the patient lie down in a supine position, relaxed. And there's a pillow underneath their head, and I encourage them to just let their whole body just relax. When the, with the patient in a relaxed position, the knee is uh, very flaccid. The kneecap can be moved around, um, and uh, the patient is quite relaxed. Um, my first step in the injection is to uh, localize correct needle placement. We, uh, I utilize a superior lateral approach. So I take a uh, marking pen and draw a line from the superior portion of the patella towards the lateral side. And I intersect a uh, perpendicular line that's drawn from the uh, end of the um, patella at its uh, junction to the um, femur, right at this region here, very easily palpable on um, the actual patient. Um, this region is, uh, is my injection of choice, this area, because we've avoided cartilage located throughout the knee joint and really um, the bulk of the cartilage on the patella. And ultimately with this injection, um, our goal should be to avoid any more damage to the knee and any potential uh, damage to the cartilage. Once the area uh, is uh, marked off, I'll place an alcohol pad on the surface. Follow this with a betadine. We'll let the betadine dry. This is all to uh, increase our chances of a nice clean technique um, and uh, avoid any sort of uh, uh, chance of infection, which is very rare with these injections. Um, we'll then place a 25 gauge needle um, with a approximately one cc of lidocaine into the skin, into the subcuticular tissue, into the fat underlying the skin, right to the region of the capsule. At that point, we'll, uh, we'll uh, withdraw the needle and give the lidocaine some time to work. The lidocaine really works instantly. And again, we're, we're going through this area um, with a, another needle right directly through this region, okay? Right through the region where we've just inundated with lidocaine. I'll then take a needle on a uh, syringe um, and uh, place this right through that same exact area, penetrating the capsule of the knee joint. I'll attempt to aspirate fluid. If fluid is attained, we'll withdraw that syringe. If indeed we're unable to achieve the aspiration of fluid from the knee joint, we'll redirect the needle um, and re-intent. Once fluid is aspirated, or simply just a flashback of fluid within the barrel of the needle, we'll place the Symbisc 1 syringe on the uh, needle. We'll then place the Symbus 1 into the knee joint, slow and easy. While we place the injection, we're always ascertaining feedback from the patient on, um, on whether they're experiencing any pain or discomfort. They should not. Once the uh, Symbus uh, 1 injection is fully placed into the knee joint, the needle is withdrawn. And data is placed over the injection site. 